Marsha Murdoch has always had the drive to succeed. I tend to get a little loud sometimes, get a little emotional, and basketball is a passion of mine, and, and ultimately sometimes when you're passionate about something, that, that comes out, so it comes across. From the outset, achieving her goals wasn't easy. Statistically, having a teenage mother puts out, if you could put some strikes against you, and I, I, I think I set out to prove people wrong, and that was a chip on my shoulder that I definitely brought into my, the classroom and brought onto the court. Murdoch grew up in a tough neighborhood in Winnipeg before attending Oak Park High School, where she helped the Raiders win back-to-back for a provincial titles in the late 90s. Her coach, Murray Brown, became a father figure in her life. Being immersed in that basketball community and winning was important, but winning wasn't the only thing. I mean, we were not just basketball players, like that we were, we were students. And the reason I'm in education today, the reason I graduated high school, Mr. Brown played a huge part in that. After representing Manitoba's provincial team, Murdoch joined the Westman as a walk-on, but life off the court was still a struggle. She made the move to the Bobcats. Brandon wasn't necessarily the best basketball choice in terms of my basketball career, but it was the best, it was the choice that I could afford and it was the opportunity to to get out of Winnipeg and to make a new life, you know, and, and that was a huge game changer for me. Murdoch was BU's Female Athlete of the Year in 2004 before completing her university career with the Windsor Lancers. She moved to Quebec in 2007 to begin her teaching career and got involved with Ultimate Frisbee and attended two national championships. Seeking a new challenge, Murdoch struck out on foot, completing a 900-kilometer trek through Spain in 2013. I'm standing over this cliff looking over and like you think like, wow. And, and so for me standing there, it was just like, I was just filled with so many emotions, like gratitude and beauty, and I can't believe I did this. Murdoch's world was turned upside down in March 2016, when she was involved in a minor car accident. She had suffered concussions before playing basketball, and the results of another were devastating. I am this educated woman who teaches, who has a master's, who couldn't now walk in a straight line, who couldn't have a conversation like at more than like two or three minutes without stuttering, without losing my thoughts, without getting sleepy. I couldn't do any of those things. I couldn't do any of those things for a very long time. After 18 months of rehab, she completed her comeback and has been hired as a consultant with her school board. Her sporting roots help Murdoch maintain a positive outlook. I wasn't looking at the certificates, I wasn't looking at the Athlete of the Year, the awards, I don't even know where some of those trophy things are up on all my moves, right? I was thinking about the process of becoming me. I was thinking about the friendships that I accumulated along the way, about the memories. And so I think that's what playing sport at that level is at the end of the day. At the end of the day, it's not our medals and our trophies and our championships that define us, it's all the, the steps that go into becoming who we are.